Hi, good day. This is Master Richman from Maryville Education Center. Welcome to Mathematics Online Class. Today, we are going to discuss the solution and the answer from your post-test, which involves addition and subtraction in exponential notation. Please listen carefully. You can also pause the video anytime you want and try to solve the problems by yourself. Let's start with number 1. Calculate 5.6 times 10 raised to the power of 9 plus 3.42 times 10 raised to the power of 9. Here are the choices. A. 9.02 times 10 raised to the power of 9. B. 8.04 times 10 raised to the power of 9. C. 9.12 times 10 raised to the power of 8. Or D. 8.02 times 10 raised to the power of 8. Based on the problem given, we can already have an idea of what our answer will be. You can see that the two exponential notations have the same power of 9. And if the sum or difference of the coefficients does not exceed 10 or go below 1, then our answer must also have the same power of 9. Looking at the choices, we can tell that neither choice C nor choice D can be the correct answer simply because their power is 8. Now, we are left with A and B. So which one is the correct answer? We can figure this out by doing the solution. Since our exponential notations already have the same power, we do not need to rewrite either number. Now, add the coefficients. The power of 10 stays the same. Write the sum of the coefficient. That's 9.02. And copy the exponential part. Our final answer is 9.02 times 10 raised to the power of 9. And that's Letter A. Number 2. Subtract 3.12 times 10 raised to the power of 12 and 1.82 times 10 raised to the power of 12. A. 2.3 times 10 raised to the power of 12. B. 1.3 times 10 raised to the power of 12. C. 2.3 times 10 raised to the power of 11. D. 1.3 times 10 raised to the power of 11. Just like in number 1, their powers are already the same. So we can just Repeat the method we used in the previous problem. Since our exponential notations have the same power of 12, and the difference of the coefficients does not go below 1, we can mark letter C and letter D as wrong. The answer is either A or B. Let's find out by doing the solution. They already have the same power. So we can directly subtract the coefficients. 3.12 minus 1.82 and then write the difference between the coefficients and copy 
the exponential part. Our final answer is 1.3 times 10 raised to the power of 12. And that's letter B. Number 3. Calculate 4.5 times 10 raised to the power of 15 plus 4.75 times 10 raised to the power of 16. A. 5.2 times 10 raised to the power of 16. B. 4.2 times 10 raised to the power of 16. C. 4.2 times 10 raised to the power of 17. D. 5.2 times 10 raised to the power of 17. First, notice that our exponential notations do not have the same power. So we will use a different method in solving this problem. But, can we still narrow down the choices before doing the solution? Yes, we still can. And it's just as easy as what we did in number 1 and 2. So how? Remember that in adding or subtracting exponential notations of different powers, we can change one of the powers to match the other one. For example, in the given problem, we can either change the power 15 into 16 or vice versa. We can conclude that the exponent in our answer must be either 15 or 16. Now, look at the choices. We can assume that neither letter C nor letter D can be the answer to our problem as their power is 17. So we can mark them wrong. But we can never be sure of this until we do the solution. Let's begin by changing the exponential parts so that they have the same power. Take note, it's easier to adjust the smaller power to equal the larger one. So we have to rewrite 4.5 times 10 raised to the power of 15 so that it has a power of 16 and to maintain balance. Don't forget to move the decimal point. We add 1. So move the decimal point one place to the left. Now that they have the same power, we can now add the coefficients. Finally, write the sum of the coefficients and copy the exponential part. Last, check to make sure that your answer is in general format of exponential notation. 5.2 is at least 1 but less than 10. So our answer is an exponential notation. The letter of the correct answer is A. 5.2 times 10 raised to the power of 16. Number 4. Calculate 8.86 times 10 raised to the power of 11 minus 3 times 10 raised to the power of 9. A. 9.83 times 10 raised to the power of 11. B. 8.83 times 10 raised to the power of 11. C. 8.83 times 10 raised to the power of 12. 
D. 9.83 times 10 raised to the power of 12. This problem is similar to the last one. Notice that it also has different powers. We already pointed out that in changing powers, it's better to adjust the smaller power to equal the larger one. For that reason, we can tell that the power in our final answer will most probably be 11, not 9 nor 12. We can safely assume that C and D are incorrect. That left us with only A and B. Which one is the correct answer? To be certain, let's do the solution. Let's start by changing the power. Add 2 to 9 to make the power the same. Don't forget to move the decimal point. And since you add 2, move the decimal point two places to the left. Now that they have the same power, we can finally subtract the coefficients. Lastly, write the difference between the coefficients. That is, 8.83 and copy the exponential part. So, our final answer is 8.83 times 10 raised to the power of 11. And that's letter B. Number 5. Calculate 4.6 times 10 raised to the power of negative 12 plus 6.2 times 10 raised to the power of negative 11. A. 5.66 times 10 raised to the power of negative 11. B. 6.66 times 10 raised to the power of negative 11. C. 5.66 times 10 raised to the power of negative 12. D. 6.66 times 10 raised to the power of negative 12. The problem this time is a little bit different. The powers are not the same and both are negative. But these don't make the problem more difficult. It's just the same as the last problem. Don't get confused on which power to adjust. Remember that negative numbers don't work the same as positive numbers. In negative, the higher the number, the less the quantity. That means negative 12 is less than negative 11. Since we adjust the smaller power to equal the larger number, negative 12 will be changed to negative 11. That only means that our final answer will most probably has a negative 11 as its power. Let's assume then that C and D are incorrect as they have powers of negative 12. Either A or B is likely the best answer. We can be 100% sure if we don't do the solution. Again, start by changing the exponential parts and add positive 1 to negative 12 to make it negative 11. Then move the decimal point one place to the left. Next, add the coefficients. Lastly, write the sum and copy the exponential parts. That's 6.66 times 
times 10 raised to the power of negative 11. That's letter B. That's all for this activity. Thank you for listening and see you next episode.